What's going on, Nerd Army guys? It's time once again for another vlog. So I haven't done one of these in a couple weeks, but I, I just kind of want to talk to you guys and tell you kind of what's going on with the channel. Um, I want, I, I've been thinking of all these different ways we could do this and all these different ways I could do everything for this channel, and I, I want this channel to grow, guys. I want this channel to be as big as it possibly can be. Um, we're almost to 3,000 subs. I am doing a Q&A and a giveaway for 3,000 subs. I've gotten a lot of great questions, um, and I have it all ready to film as soon as we hit 3K, which will probably be in the next couple days. Um, I will be doing my Q&A video. So that's coming. That's definitely going to happen. And the giveaway is actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited to do the giveaway. And I, I have a lot of like older collectibles. I have a lot of like great toys. And I, I mean, I've collected comics and toys since I was a kid. So I've got a lot of like um, mint on card action figures. And so I'm actually for my giveaway. I'm giving away a um, a mint on card unpunched action figure from the 1989 Batman movie. Um, and I'm going to be doing a drawing for anyone that leaves me a question for my Q&A about that. So if you guys want to get in on it, leave me a question down in the comments down below for the Q&A. And I will get to it, guys. And you will be entered in the drawing for the giveaway. And if you're chosen, I'll contact you, get your information, your address, and I will send the collectible to you. So I'm not going to reveal it until... I'll probably reveal it during the uh, the episode... Or I might keep it a secret and just request whoever gets it to do a uh, unboxing for it, and just that'd be kind of cool. Um, I do have some bonus things I might be throwing in with the giveaway, so guys, make sure to leave comments for this giveaway down here in the comments below or on the three thousand um, sub video and giveaway. I will be doing a uh, the giveaway is gonna be cool. It's gonna be something I want to do at every milestone. So. Next one will be like five thousand. I'll do another another giveaway probably, um, and that one I'm actually planning on trying to do a live stream. Um, I'm working on upgrading my equipment right now. I'm getting a new laptop. When I get my taxes, I'm gonna do a new laptop. Uh, I'm gonna get a new camera and probably some studio lighting and my Blue Yeti mic. So definitely gonna be upgrading a lot very soon. So. Exciting times, guys. Exciting times. Um, I have a pretty badass like webcam. It's it shoots in like 1080p. I mean, it's a pretty good webcam. Um, I'm, but I want to get like a, a badass Canon DS DSLR, like badass just camera. I found a couple really good ones at good prices. So I was like, yeah, you never know. I mean, I found one at Best Buy, but I also found another company that's gonna Best Buy a price match. So I'm probably gonna get a good ass deal on it. So we'll just have to wait and see when that comes out. But um, I'm I've been like I've been talking to a lot of my um, subscribers, and lately, guys, I have been doing a lot of reactions. It's just what I've been getting so many requests for reactions, and I've been really getting into the Ruby series, and it's just fucking phenomenal. So I've been doing a lot of videos pertaining to the Ruby series. So um, trying to knock out knock out that series and catch up to where they are currently. Um, that's the plan, and then I'll be doing a lot more other stuff too. Um, next week we got all the new shows coming back, like The Flash, Arrow, um, Agents of Shield, and I. Before we had the, the the winter break and everything for all the TV shows, I was doing um, reviews of The Flash, Arrow, Agents of Shield, um, and a couple other shows at at the beginning of the year and or at the beginning of the uh, TV show season. But certain shows like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I didn't get that many views on. I, I always got high views on my Flash and Arrow reviews. So I'll definitely keep doing those. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I was getting okay views on. So I'll probably keep touching in on those too. Now, Gotham, I, I stopped reviewing because I was just not getting any views. No one was really into it. And guys, I make these videos not for myself, but for you guys. And if, if I have nobody that's really into the video, then I'm, I'm just going to probably not make that kind of video or just not make a video on that anymore, i.e. Gotham. So I just stopped reacting, or I stopped doing um, reviews of it. I still watch it. I mean, I, I like the show. It's still very good. But I just 
you guys didn't seem to respond to it. But guys, if there is a TV show out there you'd like to see me do re reviews to, put it down in the comments below. I'll, I'll check it out and I'll I'll try, I'll think about it and I'll review it and see what I what I think. Um, definitely, I'm I'm one show that I never got into reviewing, but it's always one that I like to watch. I Zombie is really good. Um, my wife loves that show, but I I, I like it too. It's a very good show. Um, now. I definitely, like I said, I'm going to do Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., um, Flash, Arrow, Legend of Tomorrow starts. I'll probably be doing Agent Carter, so that's right there. There's five shows on top of my reactions and all my other videos I do. Um, that's the hard part. That's why um, when I when TV shows are running, my videos kind of fluctuate when I get them done because I still have my podcast I do every week. Um, I got another one coming up this week. And I'm going to have a special guest. So if you guys haven't checked out my podcast, I do one usually every week. I took a couple week break um, around the holidays, but I do one basically every week. And I always have a different guest on there. So sometimes it'll be, I'll, I'll have a return guest here or there. But most of the time it's somebody new just about every week. So you're never going to have the same kind of conversation. You're never going to have conversations flow the same because it's totally different people. So that's why I like doing it that way. Some people do it by themselves, that's great, but me, myself, I like to have a guest whenever I can, um, so I just did away with all of it, I just started having a guest every single time, and it's it's made for a great show, it's made for something that I really enjoy doing, it's always different conversations with whoever's on it, and it, it's been a lot of fun, so um, that's the Nerd Logic Podcast, I will be posting another one, probably like Wednesday-ish, uh, maybe Tuesday, depending on when my uh, guest can record with me, so... We gotta kind of play it by ear on that one. Now, I want to know what you guys think. Like, um, when I do like my reviews and stuff, obviously they're gonna come out like the Flash. I will do right away, and I'll probably post it either Tuesday night or Wednesday morning, um, or sometime during the day on Wednesday. Arrow, I work late on Wednesdays, so when I get home, I watch it. I do my review. I usually don't get that one up till Thursday, so. But guys, let me know, um, do you think I need to go with a more specific structure, like schedule, like this is what comes out this day, and do reactions like these these three days of the week, and do my reviews these days, because I mean, when I'm doing those reviews and everything, I don't just like talk about it for a few minutes, I, I go into detail, I show pictures, I pull everything in, it takes a little bit of editing to really get it to where I want it to be. And it's, it's something I like to do, because those are shows that I love. I, I get giddy as hell. I freak out. I mean, I would do reactions, but I know a bunch of people that have had a lot of issues with doing reactions to TV shows, and I'm just not even going to deal with it. I don't want to put my channel at jeopardy, so I will be doing reviews for all those shows. But yeah, let me know. What do you guys think? Should I just do, I mean, whenever they, whenever they come out, or do you guys prefer a specific schedule? Or at least for, like, my podcast, do a specific schedule, like a certain day that comes out every single week. Which, like I said, sometimes can be hard, depending on the other person, because I always have guests on that show. Um, now, also, I've done, I've, in the past, I've done History Ofs, which were fun. Um, and I've kind of, I mean, I'm still going to do them every once in a while, but when the TV show started again, I'm not going to have time. To do history of, they do take a lot of time to do the research, script it out, lay everything out. Um, and it's not a bad thing. I, I like doing them. Definitely when the the off-season comes for TV shows and everything's going like towards the summertime, I will be doing history of, like, probably every week instead of the TV shows. And have them related to the TV shows and characters we're seeing on there. I, in the past, I also did what's called character breakdowns. So they're a little bit different than history of. History of gives you, like, like basically where they started and the whole, from the beginning to now, where they're at in the comics. Um, whereas character breakdowns I used more as, this is this character, this is their powers, this is like their, their main villain. Um, that Just give a quick run through of the character. It's usually just a, like five minutes long. And it's a very quick run through on the character and some situations they've been in. And just break the character down so you better understand that character. Now guys, I want to know if you guys would prefer the full history of from beginning to end or if you'd prefer the character breakdowns because I've done them both I I like both of them character breakdowns are much easier to do but I can still get some great information and still script it out it just doesn't take as long as the history ofs so 
that's kind of a question I wanted to post to you guys because I, I do enjoy doing those and I do get some good views on them sometimes. Certain ones I have thousands and thousands and thousands of views. So, I mean, I'm going to do those up again and start doing them. But definitely in the summer, there's going to be a heavy amount of history of. So, basically, yeah, subscribe to stay tuned to that. Um, but with TV shows coming back, I'm going to be very busy and a lot of videos coming out. But I'm still going to try to do as many reactions as I can. I'm going to try to do as many Ruby reactions this week as I possibly can up before next week's show start because I want to try to catch up as soon as I can. I mean, I'm, there's not that much left for season two. And then I got to get into season three, which is, I think, where they're currently at. So I'm not that far off, guys. I should be able to catch up pretty quickly, and I might be a few off, but that's whatever. But guys, I mean, as you can tell, I'm very congested, so it's just like, I'm sorry if, if you can't understand me very well, but um, I'm definitely hoping I get better, too, because I don't want to have to review everything and just be all, well, you know, the, the flash, it went really fast, and then I'm fucking can't even talk. So, yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, another kind of video that I have been thrown around the idea of is doing like um, 10 things you may not have known about a certain character and pick any character someone to suggest. And do a 10 things you may not have known about this character. And those just seem cool because that would just seems like it would be pretty straightforward. It would be a lot easier to do than a full history of. And it would give you um, the gist and some of the things you may not have known about them. And uh, just some backstory and some basics on these characters. So... Guys, let me know what you guys think about the channel, where it's going, how it's been going. We're almost at 3,000 subs, guys. I'm hoping by the end of 2016, um, my plan is to be at 20, 20,000. Um, I don't think that's a crazy aspiration. Um, the higher you get in subscribers on YouTube, it's usually that many more people see your videos every time you put them out. So you get that many more views, and it kind of spreads it out. I try to do the reactions, and get what everyone wants to see just to get some more views guys if you have any suggestions i'm gladly will take them i'm not above taking suggestions um and some opinions from people guys but definitely thank you very much for tuning in and being a member of the nerd army and if you're not guys you're more than welcome to join subscribe hit the like thumbs up button on this video and subscribe to the channel and join the nerd army guys um, i do content just about every single day um every once in a while like when i got really sick i i kind of took a couple days off but most of the time I put out content every single day so if you want a channel that's very active and very consistently putting out good content come see me guys join in right here the nerd army right here on nerds where I but guys thank you very much for tuning into this vlog and I will see you guys next time stay sexy peace out